Today I'm here with my February TBR for 2019. If you are new to my channel then you do not know this but my mother always picks my TBR and there's always a theme that goes along with which books she picks. So this month's theme is winter, ice, cold, freezing, pretty much anything to do with Canada right now because it is a ice storm freezing negative 40 degree weather here. Without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first book that she chose for this TBR is called The Girl on the Ice and is by Robert Brinza. It follows a young boy who discovers the body of a socialite under a layer of ice. Erica, the detective on this case, links this girl's death to the murder investigation of three prostitutes and it's basically her story of trying to figure out what happened to the socialite and if there's a serial killer on the loose. I'm here for serial killers so I'm super excited about this one. The next book she chose is called Winter Glass and this is by Lexa Helier. I'm not going to give a synopsis because it is the sequel to Spindle Fire which I read in December I believe and I think I gave it a three out of five stars. I actually ended up giving it to my friend Nicole but this is the sequel. I've had it on my shelf for a while so it says winter therefore it's being chosen. The next book that she chose is one that she chose back in like September and I never got to it but it is Stealing Snow by Daniel Page. Snow is the reason why it was chosen this time around but this is a The Snow Queen retelling. I've never read The Snow Queen. I've never read a Daniel Page book before. I have like the whole Dorothy Must Die series. Still haven't gotten around to it so hopefully we get around to it and I can tell you guys what I think of her writing. The next book I'm really excited about because it was on my most anticipated releases when it first came out and I've recently found it at the thrift store so super excited that she picked this one but it is White Bodies by Jane Robbins. This follows twin sisters Callie and Tilda. Tilda is married to Felix who is a very controlling man. Callie has watched her sister shrink from this overly ecstatic human being into a very shy, very reserved person and she thinks that Felix is to blame. So she decides to join an online forum to basically have support for victims of abuse and that's when Felix ends up dead and they are trying to figure out whether he was murdered or if something else happened and it's like that story. It's a psychological thriller so you know your girl is here for it. The next book she chose was for the author's last name. It is Hush by Kate White and this follows a girl named Lake who is in the middle of a custody battle with her husband for her children and she works at a hospital and she has a one night stand with one of the doctors and then she wakes up from that one night stand and the doctor's throat is slit and in order to win this custody case she needs to lie to the police officers about what happened and all this jazz so she is not pinned with this supposed murder and is basically that story but I think that it sounds pretty cool another psychological thriller so I'm excited for it and then the final book that she chose was Snow Like Ashes and this is by Sarah Rash and obviously Snow. That's why she chose it. But this is like a fantasy debut novel. It follows a girl who wants to be a warrior and her village or country or whatever you want to call it, kingdom, I don't know, was taken over. So she becomes this warrior to try to bring them back to power and it's like a love story as well. That's all I really know about it. I found it at the thrift store so I was like might as well pick it up and then my mom chose it for the TBR so we'll see if we get around to it. And then I have one book that my mom actually didn't choose but I have to read it for like a blog tour kind of thing and it's What We Buried by Kate A. Borman. This book follows siblings Liv and Jory and they are very different from each other. Liv has been raised as a pageant beauty queen and Jory has a partial facial paralysis so he has never felt that he fits into the world that Liv lives in. The only thing they really have in common is that they resent their parents. So one day Liv decides that she is going to sue her parents. Jory thinks that this is just another one of her stunts to try to be the center of attention and that's when their parents go missing and they need to work together to figure out what happened. So it's like a thriller suspense kind of book. I'm here for it but I'll have a full review of it up on my channel once I complete it. Alright guys, so that was my 
TBR for February 2019. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!